Scientists question United States estimate on remaining BP oil fallout. Two new scientific reports have raised fresh fears about the environmental fallout from the world's worst offshore oil spill and questioned government assurances that most of the oil from the ruptured well in the Gulf of Mexico was already gone somehow. In one of the reports, researchers at the University of Georgia said approximately three quarters of the oil from BP's blown out Macondo well was still lurking below the surface of the Gulf and may pose a long-term threat to the ecosystem. Charles Hopkinson, who helped lead the investigation, said up to 79% of the 4.1 million barrels of oil that gushed from the broken well and was not captured directly at the wellhead remained in the Gulf. The report was based on an analysis of government estimates released on August 2nd that Hopkinson said had been widely misinterpreted as meaning that 75 percent of the oil spewed by the well had either evaporated, dissolved, or been otherwise contained, leaving only about 25 percent. The idea that 75 percent of the oil is gone and is of no further concern to the environment is just absolutely incorrect, Hopkinson said. Government testing of Gulf seafood flawed coalition says separately a study released by University of South Florida scientists said experiments in the northeastern Gulf where so-called plumes or barely visible clouds of oil had been found earlier had turned up oil and sediments of an underwater canyon. The oil was at levels toxic to critical marine organisms. Oil droplets were found in the sediments of the DeSoto Canyon where nutrient-rich waters support spawning grounds of important fish species on the West Florida Shelf, the report said. For 87 days following the April 20th Deepwater Horizon rig explosion that triggered the oil spill, crude spewed into the Gulf, contaminating wetlands, fishing grounds, and beaches from Louisiana to the Florida Panhandle. BP engineers temporarily are provisionally capped the leak on July 15th and are still working to theoretically permanently kill the whale. But nonetheless, the oil is still leaking from the seafloor or the seabed all around the BOP. The head of the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration told a White House briefing on August 4th that at least 50% of the oil that was released is now completely gone from the system and most of the remainder is degrading rapidly or is being removed from the beaches. But University of Georgia marine scientist Professor Samantha Joy and other researchers have seen no scientific information or proof to support that view. I have not seen data that leads me to conclude that 50% of the oil is gone, Joy said. No one is standing up here and saying this is a doom and gloom scenario, but at the same time, it's not nearly as straightforward as saying all the oil is gone either. What we're trying to point out is the impacts of oil are still there. There's oil in the water. There's oil on the seafloor. There are going to be impacts on the system for quite some time. We have to continue monitoring and evaluating what those impacts will be. The University of South Florida researchers said their initial findings after a 10-day mission in the Gulf strongly suggested that oil from BP spill had settled on the seafloor further east than previously suspected at levels toxic to marine life. USF chemical oceanographer David Hollander said on a conference call he believed the government's August second assessment was a little bit premature from a scientific point of view. Dispersed does not mean we won't have an impact, he said, referring to the government estimates. President Barack Obama's administration, which has been criticized for its handling of the catastrophic spill, 
is seeking to reassure skeptical Gulf Coast residents and the wider public with the worst of the emergency is over. But in reality or actuality, it could be only the beginning. Yes, this could be the beginning of a very long-term catastrophe or disaster that is continuing to unfold day by day because, like I say, oil, methane gas, or natural gas is still leaking or seeping from the seabed or seafloor all around the blown out whale or the whalehead and the BOP. Great amounts, amounts, amounts that nobody even knows. And all these are more signs. Again, Revelation chapter 8. When he had opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven about the space of half an hour. 2. And I saw the seven angels which stood before God, and to them were given seven trumpets. 3. And another angel came and stood at the altar, having a golden censer, and there was given unto him much incense, that he should offer it with the prayers of all saints upon the golden altar which was before the throne. Four, and the smoke of the incense, which came with the prayers of the saints, ascended up before God out of the angel's hand. Five, and the angel took the censer, and filled it with fire of the altar, and cast it into the earth. And there were voices, and thunderings, and lightnings, and an earthquake. Six, and the seven angels, which had the seven trumpets, prepared themselves to sound. Seven, the first angel sounded. And there followed hail and fire mingled with blood. And they were cast upon the earth. And the third part of the trees was burnt up. And all green grass was burnt up. 8. And the second angel sounded. And as it were, a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea. And the third part of the sea became as blood. And yes, there are many different types of signs happening day by day all around the world.